What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're going to make a whole chicken in the slow cooker and it takes no more than five minutes to prep. So I absolutely love this recipe for that. I take five minutes in the morning, prep everything, and then I rush out the door and I can come home to a whole chicken. It's almost like a rotisserie chicken. All you need for this recipe is like a silicone, uh, thingy rack whatever this is called we're just gonna call it a silicone rack I have no clue what it's called but I'll link to it in the bottom um, you place this in the slow cooker at the bottom and then you make sure that your chicken is very dry you use a paper towel to dry the whole chicken and then you put it over the slow cooker so you can put some seasoning over the back and all the seasoning that falls off falls into the slow cooker then you turn around your whole chicken you place it onto the silicone rack and then you put the rest of the seasoning to the breasts and the legs and basically the top part. And you can use whatever seasoning you like. I used a mix of poultry seasoning with cajun seasoning. I mixed, it a, I mixed it up in a little bowl and then I put it all over. But literally, like whatever's your favorite, paprika, maybe some chili, maybe some garlic, onion, dried onion. I recommend keeping the chicken dry because it's kind of going to be steaming in its own juices and some chicken broth that we're adding. So I recommend using only like dry wrap, no oils and any of that. And once you have finished with seasoning your chicken, you're going to add half a cup of chicken broth to the bottom of the slow cooker. You place the lid on top and you turn it on. You set it to eight hours on low and that's it. That's all you have to prep. And once the eight hours are over, you remove the lid and the meat will literally fall off the bone. I mean, check out this leg. I can almost remove it. Like I had to make a little small incision, but I'm basically able to remove it by hand and the meat literally just falls off the bone. Now you can serve this for dinner as is, or something that I like to do is I remove the skin. If you're concerned about fat, you can take the juices that have gone all the way to the bottom of the slow cooker and pass them through a fat separator. This is a fat separator. Um, you just pour all the juices in there and then uh, the fat floats to the top and you can start pouring and the fat will be always at the top so you don't eat that. I am not very concerned about the fat, especially considering my kids are this thin. So I just leave all the juices and all the fat in there, but I do remove the skin. And then I just start shredding the chicken inside the slow cooker. Uh, the only thing I do is remove, you know, the silicone thingy and um, I fish out the bones and the skin and then I have a ton of shredded chicken for the whole week. I store it in a container and I put it in the fridge. So I have meat ready for the whole week. Um, when it's time to make lunches for the kids, I just grab a little bit of chicken. I add some rice, some veggies and lunch is ready. So I absolutely love this recipe because of its simplicity and because it's a great recipe for meal prep. Now you can also freeze this chicken with juices or without. It's great for freezing. I hope you give it a try. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture, post it on Instagram, tag me. I want to see, I want to know how you liked it. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you with my next video. Bye.